everyone and welcome to another adventure story video okay today we will speak about managing leaking and what is coming to in your mind is this 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 racks a lot of racks spent for the managing leaking and the reason why happened this is obvious we have problem with suction and puncture valves, also fuel valves, and this is the biggest problem because the quantity of fuel you lose it's quite a lot. As you can see here in these images, there is obvious the size of damage, and that one happens when the ship is working long time on O-rings old o-rings and the fuel. The fuel is number one damage of o-rings due to high temperature. 130 degrees it's quite a lot to damage the o-rings which is made from beton material. Okay and what to do in this situation? In this situation you need to stop the engine to close control air to close also the distribution of fuel to the fuel pumps, high pressure pumps and maybe you need also to stop circulating and supply pumps to the engine. This damage happened to us when we was traveled to US and before, I don't remember exactly, there is some regulation about uh, before entrance in water of US, you need to change over to diesel. And that one happened to us and everything overflowed, everything, the engine was full of diesel and we was close to pass Coast Guard check and then we, we was also proceeding for some venting inspection. How, how we did it? We put some pipes uh, through the leakage, okay, and these pipes lead to the overflow tank. From the high pressure pumps, we determine the, from where the leakage was coming, and we collect, you will see now the image, all the pipes from all the fuel high pressure pumps and we set to one hose, one central hose, big one, and we send it to overflow, okay? What happened next? Next, we proceed inside to the Coast Guard, okay? But if Coast Guard see all that, they will shoot, sure cut the ship, okay? This is for sure. We take out the hose at the moment we was anchored, okay? we close the overflow, we stop the supply pumps, the circulating pumps for that time and Coast Guard came and check and we pass, okay? And then we proceed to another anchorage for the wet inspection and before wet inspection came, we replace all the, most of the parts and also we stop the same procedure again, we stop the pumps we also remove the hoses. This procedure was made twice or thre third time, I don't remember for sure, but we stay for sure about uh, two days without sleep. And here you will see the pipe from where the leakage is. This pipe is the indication that your suction puncture valve have leakage through the o-ring, okay? And the quantity is quite a lot which is coming from here. The best way is to avoid this problem is prepare about 20 days or 30 days that if you know and also keep in good maintenance your o-rings better to replace them. This is very easy. You just close the control air and switch off the fuel to the pump you, which will work, okay? And then you will slack here the high pressure pipes and some air pipes 
which is lead to the suction and puncture valve and then you remove the valve with two two spanner okay this I, if I remember it's 30 you need 30 unit ratchets you need also some extractors some extractor bolts two of them and everything is shown in the manufacturer's manual okay you can read the book and find exactly the procedure also we have leakage from the fuel valves on the covers the quantity was so much that everything overflowed from the drain pipes and it was also need to replace some fuel valves from the moment we start uh, start leave the loading port we start the engine and we see that uh, in number one cylinder number one uh, forward injector was leaking <laughs> like fountain really like fountain and here it's also one image from the bottom this is like waterfall as you can see here so everything was running quickly and also there is a quick decision that need to take about this because this is also a source, source for fire okay but every crew was there most of the crew was there also deck department engine department was help to clean up the engine it's better all procedures to be tested and to avoid these situations. Also good plan and good maintenance. Not only what PMS says, but sometimes PMS cannot determine the real problems that the engine can have. The human factor is more important and proper decision must be made okay and also this drain contains inside some filter which also need to clean for me it's better to apply daily basis to the drains some quantity of diesel about one liter per drain strainer okay and here also this image is turned but you can see this is the pump body okay if you look like this <laughs> you will find this is very important in one ship uh, they have problem with fuel pump and they avoid to fix they put some drums and then the leakage proceed inside to the camshaft and destroy the lubricant surface and then destroy also the cam of the camshaft here this is the point from the top cover where you can see the drain coming and it's tight with one bolt okay this is the indication point also be careful when you slack in the top cover because here the high pressure pipes they can be a little bit difficult because the space here it's very small maybe it's need to release a little bit or turn to pass uh, the suction and puncture valve check it before before you put the extractors okay it's very important okay thank you for watching this is for today stay tuned uh, more videos will come with photos and we will analyze them for you because you need to know the exact truth what happening inside the ship okay thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned to adventure story bye bye